This is an old piece of jatoba, also known as Brazilian cherry, very dense and hard. And this is an old piece, kind of a twisted old piece of bird's eye maple. And I'm gonna use these to make kind of a fancy cutting board. I'm gonna start by cutting this piece of maple to a rough length. You can see how warped this board is, and you have to be careful when you're cutting a board like this because the blade can bind and jump on you like it did on me right here. It's also a little scary ripping a board like this too, so I'm going to rip the board almost in half, trying to get the board as flat as possible, and then I'll readjust the fence and rip my parts at an inch and a quarter. Next, I'll rip the Jatoba board into three equal widths, making the first rip on the inside of the check. I use the jointer to flatten one side of each board before running them through the sander until they're all the same thickness. Next, I'll set up a stop block and cut all the boards to length. Now I've got all the parts cut to size, but before I glue them up, I'm going to use the Arbortech ball gouge to carve three vessels on this side of the cutting board. The vessels are for things like olives or dipping sauces. I think it's a nice touch and something that you don't see that often. To make the three oval shaped vessels, first I'm gonna make a pattern. So I've got a piece of paper here, I'm folding it in half, and then I'll fold it in half again. Now I'm going to measure an inch and a half and mark a line. Then I'll measure two and a quarter and mark another line. And I'm gonna make kind of a oval shape. and then I'll cut that out with a pair of scissors. Now I'll find the center of the board. It's 20 inches long, so I'll mark at 10 and three and three quarters on this side, three and three quarters on this side, and square across. Next, I'll mark reference lines along the sides. And then I can put my pattern in between those reference lines and trace it. I'm using the Arbortech ball gouge to power carve the vessels. It's important to carve in the direction of the grain to avoid tear out. As I carve the vessels, I continually rotate the workpiece to carve in the direction of the grain. Next, I'll move on to the Arbortech contour sander to smooth the carving. You can see how the sander forms to the shape of the vessel. To keep the boards straight and flush during the glue up, I'm using 3 quarter inch plywood blocks. I'll wrap them in plastic wrap to keep them from sticking to the glue. While I'm gluing the boards up, let me tell you about this project's sponsor. It's the Wicked Edge Sharpening System. The Wicked Edge Sharpening System is a high performance sharpening system and will get your knives razor sharp. And it's a really enjoyable process too. I like to come out to the barn, 
maybe bring a half a dozen knives, put on a podcast, and just go through the different grits until my knives are razor sharp. So if you like to have sharp knives, definitely check out the Wicked Edge sharpening system. I'll have a link in the description below. I've allowed the glue to set up overnight. Now I can remove the clamps and run the board through the sander, taking just a little bit off with each pass. Next I'll use the cross cut sled on the table saw to trim the board to size. I'm using the router to soften the edge with a slight round over. I've sanded the board down to 220 and now I'm applying a food safe finish and this is a board wax from my friends over at SoCal Woodshop and I'll put a link to their site in the description below. Well I'm really happy with the way this cutting board turned out and if you like this project be sure to click on the link in the description to my Makers Mob. There you'll find my step-by-step -step furniture building tutorials along with professional plans that will help you build beautiful furniture for your home. And while you're there, be sure to sign up for the eight-week joinery challenge. In this first ever Makers Mob live event, each week the samurai carpenter will teach you one of his favorite joinery techniques. This is something I'm definitely looking forward to, so I hope that you'll click on the link, and I'll see you inside my Makers Mob.